Sting of Death, 1966, directed by William Grief, starring Joe Morrison, Valerie Hawkins, and John Vella. Obnoxious college students arrive at a marine biologist's house to have a party. There, they come under attack by a killer jellyfish man. So, nice things to say about this film. The film is shot and edited nicely. The music is fun when there's music. Uh, the Blu-ray restoration is crisp and colorful. I'm, I'm grabbing at straws here, folks. In an effort to cash in on the beach party film craze of the 60s, there's a couple of scenes with bad dancing in the first half of the film. And I mean bad dancing. Uncomfortably enough, the film drops casually sexist dialogue within the first 10 minutes. The film manages not to do so for the majority of the film afterwards, but there's one other line of cringeworthy dialogue later on. There's also a disfigured lab assistant who gets treated like crap and hassled by partygoers for being disfigured. The costume for the creature is laughably bad. It is so obviously a wetsuit with paint splattered over it. It even features barely hidden diving fins. I really don't have too many nice things to say about this film. It, it doesn't excel in any particular aspect. Verdict? Thumbs down. Aside from the laughably bad costume, this film really doesn't have too much going for it. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next week for another thrilling low-budget adventure.